All right, we're fairly quiet in Connecticut right now, except for some showers in northeastern Connecticut. But notice right there out around the Catskills, moving up toward Albany and even into a Vermont. We got this line of severe thunderstorms, a lot of yellow boxes in there. Those are severe thunderstorm warnings. And there's even a tornado warning right there moving into the Catskills. And hopefully that will go away pretty soon and uh, be allowed to expire. But there is that threat of tornadoes going into this evening across Massachusetts. And Litchfield County has been included in that tornado watch until 10 o'clock this evening. And there's even a chance that some of the uh, watches will be expanded to include more of Connecticut. But the general trend will be for the storms to weaken as they move from northwest to southeast across the state this evening. We're going to have to keep an eye on that with the main threat coming in. Uh, generally after 7.30 and 8 o'clock. So we got the greatest risk for severe weather off to our north where we have an enhanced area of severe weather, but the um, yellow area still means some uh, business, so the threat of severe weather does exist for pretty much all of Connecticut going into this evening. Over Hartford now, a partly sunny sky, 79 after reaching the low 80s today. It felt like summer, especially with the high humidity. A sea breeze is cooling things off in New Haven a little bit. We're at 72 degrees. When we take a look at temperatures. They range from 62 in Groton with that cold wind from off uh, Long Island Sound to 79 in Hartford and the warm spot away from the influence of Long Island Sound is Danbury currently at 81 degrees and dew point temperatures are in the uh, 50s and 60s in fact up at Windsor Locks the dew point is kind of a steamy 65 that's when you really start to feel the humidity but at least we got a pretty good breeze that's as high as 18 miles an hour in Meriden. That's helping to uh, cool things off just a little bit and make things feel better. But we got that line of storms in advance of a cold front from the Catskills all the way up into Vermont, and that's going to be crossing Connecticut as we go through uh, this evening. So Futurecast shows that it's basically between 7 and 8 when it will start to move into northwestern Connecticut into the greater Hartford area between 9 and 10. And then as they continue to move across the state, 11 o'clock at midnight, they will tend to weaken, but still capable of producing gusty, if not damaging wind and also uh, torrential downpours and some of the heavier downpours could lead to some very localized flash flooding. But at least the system will be progressive. Then it's after midnight when the showers go away and by 6 o'clock in the morning, we're partly cloudy. And as we go through the day Saturday, uh, there you go, right up till about 7 o'clock in the evening, we're going to have a partly to mostly sunny sky. So your Saturday is looking pretty good and Sunday looks nice as well. Lows later tonight will range from 55 to 60 and your highs for tomorrow will be in the uh, 70s. We'll go for 70 degrees in New London with an onshore breeze, 73 in New Haven, Torrington 72, but you get over toward Enfield, Hartford and Middletown, a high of 77 degrees. So again, we're going to keep you updated throughout the evening with the uh, threat of severe weather. A great time to download the Channel 3 app if you haven't done so already. Uh, if you lose power this evening, you'll be able to keep track of the latest news and weather alerts. So Saturday, mostly sunny, a high of 77. Sunday, partly sunny and 72. Now showers may develop Sunday night and then Monday, mostly cloudy with a high of 68. Tuesday and Wednesday, there could be showers or periods of rain along with the cool breeze. Highs only in the 50s to maybe near 60, unseasonably cool. And there might be a tropical connection that could enhance the rainfall either Tuesday or Wednesday. So that's something we'll have to keep an eye on. Thursday and Friday still mostly cloudy with a chance for showers. And it should be a little bit milder with highs both days in the lower 70s. For the shoreline, I'm going for a high of 73 Saturday. And Sunday is looking pretty good due too, although a little bit cooler. High of 65 with a developing onshore breeze. So again, we're going to be here throughout the evening keeping you updated on those severe storms heading our way.